Hello and welcome back to Sublevel Zero. Last time we managed to get ourselves a couple really nice weapons as well as some generally good upgrades. Ooh, what is this? Is this just crystal stuff? Because I don't think I've ever seen tiny green crystals in this game before. It's pretty, actually pretty nice. They look quite uh, intelligent sitting there. It's so beautiful. Anyway, we got some nice upgrades and we're going into the second sublevel, otherwise known as the third sublevel, because, you know, it starts at zero, which is all programming speech and such stuff. Ah, disgusting bourgeois programmers, says guy who can program. Anyway, um, we're just gonna open up on everyone. I think we just got shot directly in the face. Pretty sure that just happened and that is Pretty hey hey whoa what's that sound? Hey tank, how's it going? Can you like take a moment to just not shoot us and just under just consider like how nice the day is here? I mean technically we're in the middle of space and there's no such thing as daytime and nighttime. It's all just generally blackness outside, but you know, we can be optimistic and pretend that there's like grass and sparrows, maybe a couple cardinals just chilling out outside. Um, having just an absolutely swell day in like snow white fashion, just flying around. It's definitely not happening, like not even in the slightest. It's almost certain that whatever is happening out there is pretty darn terrible. Oh, would you die, you mining thing? Okay, so we got a log here. Given that we are significantly farther in, I'm gonna hope that this is not a repeat. It's definitely a lot of tech for something as low level as that if they're... Uh, nope. Nope, we've already seen that, actually. Ends up that, once again, we got another uh, log that we've already seen. I don't know if there's any actual lore associated with this game, but you know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're here for the gameplay, not the narrative. It's a roguelike anyway. Roguelikes are never particularly good at giving narrative. I mean, things like FTL did a decent job at giving narrative, but it's really... It's not so much a narrative... Hey, whoa! Whoa! Why did you completely ignore me until I turned around? That is sketchy. Anyway, as I was going to say, it's not really a narrative exp experience so much as it's like a flavor to the gameplay. I don't know. I've never seen roguelikes as a particularly narrative um, genre of games. They just don't... It's hard to create a useful or interesting story of any kind when you can't really, you know, say what's going to happen first, how, and what's going to happen next. You know? It's just a thing. I'm sure you know. It's fine. Anyway, we're going to head over here. Where, which direction were we actually going? Is this the right way? This is almost definitely the right way. You know when there's something trying to kill us that we're going the right direction. That's the dead giveaway there. A tortoise hull. That's interesting. I mean, we're going to bring it with us. We're not going to use it because it's kind of disgustingly worse than what we already have. Hey, wait a minute. There's a blue... What? What? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, okay, we just got the blue key. I guess it was like embedded in the ground or something? I don't know. That was kind of weird. Its nameplate was just sticking up out of nowhere. I mean, I, I have no problem with that so long as we can still get it, because if we can't get the blue key, I'm pretty sure that we're never going to be able to win. But we have it. It's under control. It's fine. Who's trying to kill me right now? All of you people, calm down. If we can classify you as people, it's kind of arguable. They don't seem to be actually all that intelligent of creatures. And intelligence is somewhat necessary to be considered a person. And this is clearly not terrible intelligence. Okay, let's get that rapid hervol right there. Just so we have another missile item. And I'm going to guess that whatever crafting recipe we just got is going to be cluster missiles. Yeah, it is definitely cluster missiles. Ah, <sighs> why is it always cluster missiles? Why every time, every time we get any form of upgrade to explosives, it has to be a cluster missile. And every time I'm like, it's gonna be fine. We'll just use these cluster missiles this time. It won't be a problem. And then I blow myself up. It's just bad. I mean, we really need to not have cluster missiles if at all possible. They are a threat to our continued existence. Anything here? Oh, hey, check it out. It's a tank. Oh, it's two tanks. No, oh, were you two having a little tank powwow over here? T 
talking some sort of tank language all about like the new treads you got. He was all like, oh, I got these uh, $50 treads from Kmart. They are just all the rage right now. They're just so beautiful. And the other one was like, oh my word, that is just so good. That's such a nice value. Yeah, I got these like $20 ones from like Walmart. I know they're not the most stylish in the world, but man, it was just a really good deal. And really, us going in and killing them after having a conversation as, quite frankly, disgusting as that, was just, it was a good thing. It, it was saving them from the terrible, terrible life that they no doubt had. Talking about whatever the heck they, they're on about. Okay, let's, p let's pick up that auto cannon. We got a standard hull here. I don't know if we want a standard hull. We do have a strafer hull. I don't think it gives much of an indication about what sort of stuff we can craft from anything. Uh, so I think we'll pick up that hull instead of whatever cruel laser we have right here. So bring that with us. Ah, oh, we do have a new crafting recipe. That was a perfect option. Oh, a gunship hull. Looks like that has actually... Kind of looks like it has generally better stats than everything that we already have like where is our actual item we're using a strafer hull yeah that gunship hull has just generally better stats oh that's nice i mean i'm totally gonna make that and replace that with our old one because that is gonna be beautiful gunship hull welcome to the ship i quite appreciate your existence at some point probably maybe we'll get a level two um, a level 3 hull at some point. There's really no no promise that that's ever going to... Oh my word, there's a lot of stuff in that room. There's a lot of stuff in that room. You guys okay? Oh, dang, they are actually still okay. That is not good. I mean, I know it sounded like I was really concerned about them. I wanted them to be very not... Ow! Very not okay in that situation. Unfortunately, that was not so much the case. Are you all dead? You're still alive. I know that you're still alive. I mean, I didn't even touch you. He was just chilling out on the wall while while all of his friends were being killed. He was like, oh, I'm so going to get the revenge here. I'm going to be the one to get revenge on this, like, guy who just comes in and decides to kill us during our nice little tea party powwow situation. Oh, no. No revenge here. Not a single bit of revenge. We remain unavenged. I mean, actually, we didn't need to be avenged in any situation, but still. Uh, we have very low ammunition right now, actually. I don't know if you've noticed, but our minigun is completely out. Luckily, this pulsar doesn't use all that much ammunition. It actually, quite frankly, uses a stupendously small quantity of ammunition. It's kind of crazy. But it's still pretty solid. Ooh, nice tortoise hull. Ooh, that is a beautiful tortoise hull. What sort of crafting options did we just get? A porcupine hull? Oh, excellent armor at the cost of low missile storage. Oh, 183? Jeez, that's going to be a crazy... Oh, man, we're totally going to get that. Like, as soon as we get the chance, we're going to get that porcupine hull. That's like a level 3 hull there. Mmm, mmm, that's going to be beautiful. We're going to need 3,000 nanites for it, which... I don't know if you've noticed, but 3,000 nanites is actually quite a lot of nanites, but it's going to be okay. We'll figure it out. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to kill, and literally everything we kill gives us some form of nanites, so there you go. Get out of here, mate. You're done. Um, we're just going to use that repair kit because we do have enough uh, space to actually fit that into our health bar. And despite having been blindsided pretty badly, we seem to be doing quite nicely in the realm of basically everything. We still have nine health kits, and here is the actual core itself. We need to try to not engage the core for as long as possible, because as soon as we engage the core, it's going to start firing back at us with, with actually very likely quite a bit of ammunition. So the more that we can not get attacked by the hull, the better off we're going to be as we at least try to clear out a lot of this stuff so that we don't get blindsided by anything in particular. Oh, hello. Would you like a nice missile? Have a missile! Get wrecked. Aw, oh, he got destroyed. They got done for, mate. Ah, oh, okay. 
So there's just a couple missile defenders. We're actually doing pretty well taking them down. For the most part, they're not that dangerous if you can get a nice wall between you and them, which is generally true about most things. As soon as you have a wall between yourself and something else, there's not actually that much that's gonna hurt you. It's just gonna be like artillery firing at a particularly high angle. That's almost definitely gonna hurt you. Outside of that, I would argue that nothing is capable of hurting you. Literally nothing in existence can touch you at that point. Um, get out of here, you guys. Oh my word, there's a lot of firepower coming in there. Uh, we do have to be kind of careful about that one. Mmm, I want that missile defender dead. I think we just got it. We're gonna unleash quite a few missiles. Oh. And then take cover there. It's just gonna be poking our heads out, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna be the case. Did we get shot from any other direction? No, we were just terribly unlucky about that one. Have some missiles! Oh, jeez. There's so much firepower. Oh, there is a dude down there. Hey, get out of here! Nobody likes you! Is he dead? Yeah, he is. Open fire. All weaponry is going to be now directed onto the court, as it is trying to kill us quite viciously, and I don't appreciate that. Whew. Well, that was a thing. We're gonna actually take both of these kits and get shot in the process, because apparently it just so happens that I should actually clear the area prior to trying to take random health kits. Yeah, that's just a small note for the future there. Okay, so that's all dealt with. What is this? A brutal hervul. Um... Actually, that is just universally better than the one that we have, so we're gonna pick that up. And of course, that crafting recipe is cluster missiles, which I'm not ever going to make again, because that's just a really, really bad idea. Like, it's just an exceptionally bad idea to try to make any form of cluster missile out here. It's just gonna end in my own death, and I don't like my own death. Relentless grenades. Huh, well, I think... I think we'll get that instead of a missile, because that's actually a pretty good weapon. And outside of that, all that we need to do is pick up this flux drive, and whoa, it immediately grabbed us. Anyway, we've gotten ourselves one nano cart. Let's see what we can get here. Energy regen, that could be useful. No longer take any da damage from your own weapons or exploding enemies, but your max HP is nearly halved. You know, I like the two things that we get, but mm, I don't know if that's actually that good of an ability. And then Plasma Specialist. That's completely useless. We aren't using Plasma Weapons, so I think we'll go with Energy Regen. Because ammunition is actually becoming a bit of an issue at this point. Ah, uh, well, look at that. We did a significant quantity of damage. Our accuracy was, of course, atrociously terrible. We only took 159 damage. I say only. I mean, that's more than enough to kill us. So that's, that's not really the best thing, and that's like, what is that? Six health packs worth of damage? We cannot afford to continue to do that. Anyway, for now, that'll bring us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, yet another sublevel. It is a rare occurrence that we get to the third sublevel, otherwise known as the fourth sublevel. But we're going to get there, and hopefully we will survive it, because we're actually doing pretty well overall. So until then... Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.